Hey, what's up, guys? Anung Tade here. And uh, last time I said I'll be showing you the videos of the VTEL plan. And before we take a look into the plight of the VTEL, uh, let's take a look at the previous flights which I have made using my older RC model, um, which had a wingspan of 1.4 meter. And it really flew well, but I think there were some issues regarding those. ESC overloading. I think like the uh, the plane was too big and the motor size. I think it was too small for the plane, due to which the motor drew excessive currents to keep the plane in the air, and eventually the ESC burn out. So here are some footage of the earlier one, and next in in few minutes we'll be watching the test of those B tail plane. So keep watching and thank you guys. So as for my knowledge, uh, everything was working fine in this plan, but this plan it was having a hard time staying in the air since all this time of the, uh, all this time of the flight I was giving uh, it full throttle just to stay in the air, which may be the reason for the excessive um, drop current in the ESC, which eventually heat up and the plane caught fire in the mid air and it, it eventually crashed in the end. Full throttle me, full full throttle me chal raha Gliding ho raha hai nitora kaise? So as for my knowledge, uh, I think the motor was not providing enough thrust to uh, keep the flight in the air. Maybe in my next one, I'll just put some dual 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 propellers, dual motors in this thing. So that was an unintended crash. I don't know if the battery survived or not, but uh, by the looks of it. I'm pretty sure the battery is in very bad condition as well. And elevator it seems working. And this is the aileron. So here we go. 